Hello all, welcome to the ANSYS tutorials. In this video, we are going to perform the contact stress analysis on knuckle joint and we are going to see the importance of performing contact stress analysis over the bonded connections. Open ANSYS workbench. In the left side, you can see various toolboxes. So I am selecting the static structural. Click and drag it here. So right click on the geometry and go to import geometry and choose browse. So I have kept the knuckle joint assembly as IGS file. So you can import it. Next right click on the model, choose edit. You can see the tree in the left side. So in materials, all the parts are made of structural steel. Now in connections, you can click the plus symbols and you can click the plus symbols in the contact. Select contact region. So initially, there is a contact between, you can see that there is a contact between the I end and the fork end. So, go to type of contact and change it to frictional contact and as both the parts are made of uh, steel I am keeping a frictional coefficient of 0 0.15 next contact region 2 this is the contact between the I rod and the pin you can visualize that the inside part of the I rod is in contact with the pin so go to type of contact and change it to frictional contact and I am keeping the same frictional coefficient 0 0.15. The third contact is the contact between the fork and the pin. So the inside of the fork is in contact with the pin and the top surface of the fork is also in contact with the bottom surface of the pin. I am changing the type of contact to frictional and I am keeping the same frictional coefficient as 0 0.15. Next, I am going to create the mesh. Right click on the mesh and choose generate mesh. So first we will perform the contact stress analysis then we will compare it with the bonded joints. Now we have created the mesh. You can see that the entire part is discretized into small elements. To apply the boundary condition, Right click on the static structural, click insert, choose fixed support. So I am fixing one end, then I am going to apply a force. So go to insert, choose force. I am applying a force in the opposite side. Okay. So select the geometry, click OK. Now we have two options. So defined by components and in the Y direction, I am applying 10 kilo Newton of force. Sorry, in the X direction, I am going to apply 10 kilo Newton of force. In the Y direction, I am keeping it as zero. So you can verify the direction of your applied load. Now in the solution, right click on the solution, choose insert. So I am inserting equivalent stress and I am also inserting contact tool. So go to insert contact tool and contact tool. In contact tool, right click on that and you can insert frictional stress then we can also insert gap now right click on the solution click solve now click on the equivalent stress you can visualize the equivalent stress so the maximum stress is 3.2 e power 8 Pascal so you can select the maximum probe so this is where here the maximum stress occurs if you want to animate it you can animate like this so you can see that there is some relative motion in between the parts you can also visualize the frictional stress so the frictional stress value is around 3.4 e power 6 so here the frictional stress value is less than the equivalent stress value so there is no problem we can also visualize the gap in between the parts. 
so you can animate the frictional stress so in case if you want to save this you can go to images you can choose image to file and you can save this as knuckle contact stress so similarly you can save the results so in case if the joint is a bonded one it means if we haven't specified the frictional joint so i'm changing it into bonded then i am resolving this so in case if it is bonded you can see that the stress value is low it is 2.2 e power 7 so in the contact stress condition it is around 3 e power 8 so this is the importance of uh, contact stress analysis so wherever there is some relative motion between the parts we have to specify the contact with correct coefficient of friction or otherwise the stress value will be minimum and if you keep the factor of safety maybe as one then there may be a possibility for failure thank you